and welcome back. Now for the note. There are quite a few things to be said about torture, I figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very... the humans? All have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the, the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence when their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into, has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to process the wite and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield mass maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Alexander is just such a nice guy. I do not like the lights. Alright, I have a string. What do I can do with it? around again quickly and see if there's something I can do with this jar on string. Me dizzy. soil with blood flowing from his belly. The saw between his legs lodged itself in the head and wouldn't move any further. Then stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Ew. All right, I've got a glass jar of blood. All right, that's useful, right? I'll just get out of here now. Alright, something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was something was more than his mind was willing to handle. <laughs> I know about the choir. The choir is scary. What's in here? Ooh, tinderbox. Tinderbox. 
Nope. A group of channels vile. Vile taunts, taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to depart from Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Vile claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but all but, but that he needs me to give. He needs me to give him Agrippa first, so he too can help. If you could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to depart from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but, I'm, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Vaya told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Witte, and Tempter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The, the Witte could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts of it to distill it properly. Remember to collect that during the next torture session. Ah, there. Tanter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kerenk. I will have to address Vio with this, as he will have to supply me the host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. So that explains why I've done two of those things. More laudanum. I keep grabbing more of it, despite the fact that I don't actually need it. And I think that's a note about Vaya that uh, Agrippa wanted, so I went back to him. How are things coming? Incredible! You found Vaya's recipe! Then there might still be a chance! Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another realm. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate then. Please, find the ingredients and pass the tonic via this climb. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore, you won't be able to save him. Alright, I can do that. So back and back and back we go. Fire and Carefully cutting the man open made him think oh, I already read that one. That's not what it made him think. Ah. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Oh. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. No. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! No. Okay, I guess I have to. Alright. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines. Take the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you sleep. And on that cheery note, I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb. I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. And on that cheery note, I'm going to end this part. See you in the next one. Bye.